Remember the time you started a project with good intentions, only to find yourself buried in mountain of sticky notes and scribble on papers. We all been there, but fear not, one note is here to save the day. Now let me show you how to use it as a powerful project management tool so that you can finally have all the right information conveniently under one app. Let's see how we can use OneNote for project management, right? So the simple way here, okay, or in the traditional OneNote, all you need is just go to the templates here, yeah, page templates, and you can see that you can have this as an open business, and you can have all this, right? Like project overview, yeah? So this is a template that you can use to manage your project where you have your project name, company name, and, and all this, right? Project name, okay, description, project goals, and so on. So this is one way that you can use it, right? And all you need is just go in and you can just customize it. If you don't need this, then you just delete it off. If you want to make this a template because you do a lot of project, then you can save this as create new, save current page as a template. Then you can use this repeatedly, right, as a template for all your projects. Today, OneNote has one superpower. Now, I want to say why superpower, because it has added this loop component. All right, now, I can have this here, or I can just remove it. Okay, let me show you by using the loop component. Now, this is a, something new, and I believe it's only for those with a paid business account. You can insert this loop component, and you can see that there is a lot of component that is related to projects. Let's say for example, here I can have a progress tracker on my projects. So all I need is I just insert this in here, right? I can in here and then I can track my projects, you see? So this is on one that I want to track on my project tracker. Then I can have, uh, I mean, you just put in any title that you want, right? A project tracker on all the tasks. Now, personally, I like to use Kanban, right? So I can have my Kanban board right over here. That's why I say with loop component now, your OneNote has the superpower. The beauty of having this loop component is that you can share this, right? You can share this, copy this component, and then you can share it inside Microsoft Teams or send it through Outlook to your team members. And everyone can come in or use the component even inside Teams or Outlook to update. Yeah, so they don't have to come to your notes, but when they update, you see the update real time. Okay, on this OneNote page. Yeah, so I can have all my information inside this. Right, I can have my all my project. Uh, I can call it like my project dashboard. So all the information I can have it right over here. And uh, let's say for example here, I prefer to use the Kanban, okay, which is one of the Agile project management tools and uh, Kanban board where you can put in all the information. Okay. It's a simple task number one, I can assign to your, uh, I mean, any team members and select a deadline, okay, and that's it. Now, I can move this like a Kanban, yeah? So, now if you do not know Kanban, just leave a comment right below. Maybe I'll try, I mean, I'll, I'll create another videos to talk about Kanban. It's a very powerful tool and easy and visual. So then you can just move the card all around or you can add new card. Yeah, I can type cast two and then I can move this. If I start working on it in progress and you have it done, then I can move it to done. So that one look, I can see, I mean, the whole progress of all the tasks. This is how you can use Kanban inside OneNote today. You do not need to come up with table. I mean, traditionally you use like table and then uh, it's very troublesome. So that's why once you have this loop inside your OneNote, it's so much, so much easier. Second thing, talk about collaboration, right? or meetings. In project, usually we have a lot of meetings. So how do you track all the meetings information? So usually if we use, uh, let's say, I mean, we normally use Microsoft Teams. So let me open up my Microsoft Teams. Okay. So this is in my Microsoft Teams. And let me show you how, when we create a new event, right? 
So you have a meeting event, let's say I just call it test meeting and uh, you come in over here, Kim's meeting, and then you can have it right over here. You see, you have an agenda, all right? I can just put one, two, three or whatever, right? And then the meeting notes and, and so on. So what you can do is that you can just create that meeting, save it, right? And then now, you go in here, you see in the meetings, let me just, uh, okay, let me show you just join the meetings. Right, and so in the meetings, you will have these notes and you can add your meeting notes here. Right, and then what is the follow-up task? You see, task. Okay, and then you can assign and you put a due date if you want. You can put a due date. All right. And then uh, it is done. And then you can just leave it. All right. So when you complete the meeting, now you, when you can get back right over here. You can see the view, agenda, and so on. Now, this is a loop component. Do you see that, right? This is a loop component. And all you need is just copy this component. Then now let's go back to my OneNote. I can copy right over here if this is the dashboard by but my advice is that because usually you will have uh, multiple meetings then it's better than open another page yeah so you got project a meetings then you can put all the meetings right over here yeah so let's say this is a test meeting and then you can put your date here and then I can just copy and paste right control V paste so this is the agenda, you see that, right? So this is the agenda. Now if I go back to my here, and I will try to change this. Number three, I will change it to, let's say five, okay? Oh, I want to add more, okay, notes, all right? And uh, I don't have to save or whatever, right? It's an auto save. And then I just close it. Let me get back to my notes. Do you see that, right? It's all here, automatically, real time. Okay. So how good is that? You see, all your meeting notes, and then if you have subsequent meeting, you can put in your other meetings, okay? Meetings number two or whatever dates, and then you just paste it. So all the meeting information is right over here. So this is how powerful it is right now with a combination of one note and loop. So that, because most of the time we will have to go and find information everywhere in some email to the agenda or follow up tasks and so on. And uh, all the tasks that you need to do after the meeting, you can refer it right over here. So now it's very easy. If you can create a section, yeah, or for your projects, then all this can be in one tab. And then you can just go back to your project dashboard where all the key information is there. And then all the communications, right? Your meetings and so on with all in here. So everything is under one app. Very, very convenient. Now what you need to do is go and try it and let me know in the comment whether this helps you to improve your work productivity, especially it comes to project management. By the way, I'm Andrew. And if you like this type of productivity videos, do subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so that every week when we publish new content, you'll be notified. See you real soon in my next video.